Because you cannot just be able to, out of blues, say now you are making a ruling to this effect. I think we must also be a house of rules and follow our procedures. Thank you. That's what I meant by not having all the facts within my knowledge. And now it's come out that the committee report is not out here. I'll just give the member for Matungulu. And, uh... Uh, thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And I want to urge the members. We are the custodian of protecting the rule of law in this country. And I'm, I'm very aware each and every member in this house from the 290 constituencies is people who are calling them or calling these members regarding this issue, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the law can never be overruled by a memoranda or any agreement done outside this house. Madam Speaker, I saw you yesterday very passionate towards how we are going to oversight any institution in this country. This institution called COOPS is not exceptional. It's not exceptional. Madam Speaker, students are suffering at home. Parents are suffering at home. Every Kenyan is worried. We have the law which is very clear. It has not been amended. It cannot be bypassed by a memoranda. And Madam Speaker, being a legislator who follows house procedures, the Committee of Health in this house sat, pronounced themselves on this issue within the committee. Once that is done, we are being told that there is somebody else somewhere sitting to overrule the members, the honorable members of our committee. What are we doing in this house? We better all resign and go home and stop spending taxpayers' money for things which cannot happen. <laughs> Madam Speaker, is the high time the dignity of this house must be maintained whichever divine or political party we come from. We must stand firm and tell the nation that the only institution given mandate either to deal with issues against the law is parliament. Madam Speaker, the last but not least, this issue of coups has been boiling day in, day out. There are placing students who are a material to go and do certificates, to go and do diploma, Madam Speaker. It is the high time we deal with this monster because the most affected people are our students from our constituencies. So, Madam Speaker, this is not an issue whereby we are going to lie law as parliament, we are going to allow Kenyans, uh, uh, students, Kenyan students to suffer. You can imagine, Madam Speaker, when a student has worked so hard for four years to attain an A or a B and is given an opportunity to go to a, 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 a institution of higher learning to just go and do a certificate or a diploma. Madam Speaker, I know very well, you passed well in your L, uh, in your L levels. Can you imagine it's you? being given that opportunity to go and do uh, uh, a certificate. Will you be our deputy speaker? Will you be the law who we know? This is an issue of Kenyans, and Kenyans must be protected, and that is the business which we have been brought here by the Kenyan people without no mercy to anybody, and we are not going to land on this. Let the chair of health committee go and call the secretariat to table that report, and by five o'clock we debate it and agree on how to go about it. Kenyans cannot suffer more any, no, Madam Speaker. We have a responsibility as a house to protect the law. We were sworn in this house to protect the law. About memoranda, about anything else, does not supersede the law. The court has pronounced themselves on this issue, Madam Speaker. Let's law take its course in this country and we move forward as a, uh, as a parliament. God bless Kenya. God bless the students of Kenya. Thank you, Honorable Members. I think uh, the chairperson for the Committee on Health has given undertaking that he will move with speed to summon those various agencies and, uh, the, and the minister. That's why they are going to do it even before they... They are not going to take a break. They are going to go and deal with it immediately.